What is up guys, Kelly Kevin today back with a brand new episode of Skyrim Remastered Mod Showcases on my channel. Hopefully you guys are having a super sick day and today we are going to be covering Aragon the King. Yes, this is Aragon the King. I believe it's where the Fellowship of the Ring? No, Return of the King. I think it's Return of the King. It must be Return of the King, surely. During the final battles at the Black Gate, he is essential. I think there was a deleted scene actually on this particular uh, sort of setting where I think the Eye of Sauron, or I think it was called the Mouth of Sauron, which is a deleted scene, actually comes out and uh, speaks to everyone. And uh, Aragorn in his king suit actually does cut off the head. And uh, they were talking about Frodo in there, but I'm not going to go into too much about that. I am here to showcase a mod. Guys, if you haven't checked this out, this is JP Doctor's mod. It is absolutely awesome. We've covered a few of his before. They're all Lord of the Rings characters. If you like that, then uh, you're in luck. And if you don't, that's a little bit weird because you're playing a game almost sort of set in the same time. I'm probably going to get slaughtered for lore on that, but that's fine. But yeah, we are here in Whiterun in Dragon's Reach as always. Looking at damn beautiful where they mostly hide out. Now, the king is around here somewhere. I'm not too sure how we're going to approach him or what to say because obviously he is King Aragon so I'm not too sure ah he is there oh wow Texas look if you want to check out Gimli by the way we've already covered Gimli he's awesome and he's a freaking beast in battle you know how do we do these follower showcases what I like to do is uh, talk to them see what they got on them look at them overall and then we like to test them out in battle and see how effective they actually are so let's talk to the king and see what he has to say uh, you got no clothes you should get some Okay, okay. Follow me. I need your help. Let's go, Aragorn. Come over here, buddy. I need to see you. Holy shit. You look freaking awesome, dude. Does look very much like Aragorn. Beautiful job on that. The armor looks absolutely sick. Shame you can't have your followers on horses. I believe you... Maybe you could. Maybe there's a model something. But you would look absolutely dope on horse. Now, it's going to be awkward to try and turn you around to have a look at your sword. Holy shit. Map. Damn, that's a nice sword. And that is a sick cloak as well. Very nicely detailed throughout the whole aspect of it. So let's have a chat with him. What is it? I need something to trade. What do you need to take? Let's have a little trade with Aragorn the King. Hello, Royal Armor. 98 armor. Jesus Christ. But the weight is so heavy. Hopefully he's a freaking tank in battle. Obviously royal boots, which I believe are vanilla textured boots. I'm not too sure with a different name. 36 armor, very nice indeed. Royal gauntlets again, a vanilla texture, I think, unless that pattern has been changed on the gauntlets. I don't think it has. It has got the Skyrim logo, so no, of armor of 36. The royal cloak, which is new, very nice. No armor on that one. Silver greatsword. Now, this is where it comes down to a little bit weird. Now, personally, I'd like to have... King Aragon, being the fact that he is king, obviously not too overpowered, but a damage on a great sword of 15 is a little bit low. I mean, if I had high enough, um, I don't know, smithing, whatever it's called, I could probably bump that up and grind it myself. My smithing at the moment is absolutely terrible. It's a little bit weird. And I found out why they have hunter's bows on them. I found out why now. Because obviously, for a follower, you want an all-rounder, and you want someone that has a bow so they can range. I don't want that within melee sort of characters. I want to see what melee damage they can do personally. So I'm going to take the hunter's bow off of him and uh, we're going to focus on this bad boy. I want to see what this can do in battle. Now Gimli had a, I believe, similar steel vanilla axe and he was an absolute savage. He literally went round and pretty much one-shot people. I think he one-shotted a uh, white run guard and I believe there was a, an imperial officer and he had a little bit of struggle with him, but he eventually killed him and ate his face. Again, if you haven't seen that, come check that out, because that was absolutely hilarious. So yeah, he's he's very, very well armoured, but I just find the fact of his sword is a little bit weak. Maybe just a little bit stronger, we want to go and see that. So enough of the chitter chatter now, I'm obviously going to take King Aragorn out onto the battlefield and compare him to everyone else. He has to beat Gimli in melee. I am hoping he does, A, because he's Aragorn and he's a freaking beast throughout the films, and B, he's in his king armor. Hail to the king. Okay, guys, so we're here and we are here with King Aragorn. So, let's see what he can do. I'm just going to try and instigate a fight to quite possibly see if Aragorn will interact with us. Now, I do have to kill the archers, I must say, because that is an unfair fight, and I do want to see them with melee and see what the melee compatibility is. Here he is. 
Oh shit, just one shot that dude. He's down. Oh, it wasn't a power attack that one. That was a normal attack, two, two hits on that one. I'm gonna kill the Imperial officer because he was incredibly hard last time. He's down. Go on Aragon. Go on Aragon. Oh my, Aragon's a freaking beast. He did get knocked down though, that's fine. Oh, see you later. Come on Aragorn, he's got some serious HP. He's tanking them a lot better than the other ones. Excuse me. No, I'm trying to watch something. That's it, Aragorn. Keep going, boy. Keep going. Oh, shit, sit down. Aragorn's a freaking beast. Go on. Go on. Get those kill moves going. Ooh, Imperial Legion. He's down. Aragon, Aragon's still fixed on one target though. No, he switched target. That's cool. Leave him limbering. Here, finish him off. Oh my god. Stop it now. Aragon. I've just found my new favourite follower. This guy's a freaking machine. Aragon. You are a legend, son. Wow. I mean, it's not exactly the Black Gates. I mean, the final battle of the Black Gates. But, I mean, come on now. Jesus. He does a super amount of damage. And he is so tanky. It is unreal. Everything was nearly a kill hit. Which basically is one shot power trick. Guys, definitely get King Aragon. He is a freaking machine. I'd take the bow off. Let him get in. Let him get stuck in there. He will be on par with you. I'm only level 36, so if you're higher than that, you're a freaking dream team, and I believe you can take a couple of followers around with you. I'm pretty sure you can. Gimli, Legolas, King Aragon, Gandalf the White. Get it done, guys. Just get it done. They oh, I'm blown away. King Aragon for the win. I don't think anything can beat this, melee wise Guys, if you did enjoy it, make sure to hit me up with that like comment let me know what you think of this mod as well we do be getting it because it is a solid one for me for a follower mod i don't usually do followers but this one oh super tight but guys until the next one kill the kevin and kill the get out